unstoppable, 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 yeah. God is unstoppable, 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 yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Ashley, and we've been hearing about our unstoppable God this whole series. When God has a plan, nothing can stop it. Let's learn, sing, and pray to our unstoppable God together. Right now, I want everyone to get up. Come on, get up. Even you, let's get up. We are gonna have a little dance party. So let's start with some slow dancing. Step side to side to the beat of music with me. Just like this. All right. You guys are getting it, you're doing great. Now, let's dance to a little bit faster music. Maybe we can snap. Or we can twist. Let's keep going. All right, now let's just dance it out. I love to dance. It's fun, it's great exercise, and it makes me feel so happy. Today, we are going to hear a true story from the Bible and see how dancing can be a way to say thank you to God. So right now, stay up and let's sing a song to say thank you to God. Let's move and sing together. Get ready. Take a seat. Five, four, three, two, one. Now for a true story from the Bible. The Bible is from God and it's true. That's why we read it. Our Bible story today is found in 2 Samuel chapter six. And David is finally God's chosen king of Israel. As a kid, David defeated the giant Goliath with a rock and with God's help. As a young man, David showed trust in God by honoring King Saul. Now, it's David's turn to be king and he is showing the people a surprising way to give thanks to God. Watch this. After many years of war and uncertainty, David had finally become the king of Israel. 
but something was still missing from the royal city of Jerusalem. The Ark of the Lord belongs here. The Ark was a wooden chest that in some special way carried the presence of God among the Israelites. It had been stolen by the Philistines and then returned, and now it was sitting in the home of a man named Obed-Edom. We'll set up a tent right here for the Ark. Let's go get it. David's wife, Michal, was, um, let's just say, less than enthusiastic. The dust on those back roads takes the curl out of my hair. So David gathered up all his best soldiers and marched over to the place where the Ark rested. This is a wonderful day, an incredible day, an absolutely fantastic day. With great care, the men lifted the heavy ark with carrying poles. Wonderful, excellent, let's go. That's one step closer to Jerusalem. Two, three. Are you seriously gonna count the whole way? Wait, stop. We've only come six steps. That's okay. We need to thank God for everything he's done. Right then and there, David sacrificed a bull and a calf to honor God. Okay, now we can move on. One, two, three, lift. Just walking isn't enough. We should dance for God. The ark's kind of heavy. Everyone else, if you're not carrying the ark, celebrate, sing, shout, blow the trumpets. The people shouted and ran alongside the ark. David danced before the Lord all the way to Jerusalem. As the laughing, shouting parade arrived, Michelle stared in disbelief from a window. There was her husband, the king, dancing in a simple linen garment with all the common people. Unbelievable. He looks ridiculous. Certainly not like a king. Down on the street, David continued to dance all the way to the beautiful tent he had set up. Everybody behind me, let's dance. Okay, keep on moving. Now, let's switch it up. Time for a breather. Let's put the ark right here. One, two, three, down. David made more sacrifices to honor God. Then he stood before the people. The ark has returned. God bless you. He is the one who rules over us all. He deserves our thanks for everything he's done. So let's keep celebrating. We've got some fresh bread and dates and raisin cakes for everyone. Though all of Jerusalem had turned out for the festivities, one person still refused to celebrate. When David returned home, Michal met him furious. You're the king of Israel, and you've really made yourself look good today, right? Dancing around in that thing? A linen apron. It's what the priests wear. But you're a king. You made a fool of yourself in front of all of your officials and even the servants. I did it to honor God. He made me ruler over his people. I can't even. I will celebrate to honor the Lord. You already said that. Oh, I'm not done. I will bring even less honor to myself if it will bring more honor to God. What is that in your beard? Raisins. <laughs> you want to do the electric slide? No. While Michelle cared more about appearances than anything else, David fixed his gaze on God because he knew nothing was more important than celebrating to thank God for all the amazing things he'd done. What does this story from the Bible have to do with me and you? You don't want to miss what's next. Did this video make you want to dance a little? Me too. There's so much to thank God for, and David danced as a way to celebrate and praise God. David was so happy and thankful to God that he couldn't help it. He just started dancing. The Bible tells us that other people joined David and danced with him as a celebration for all that God had done for them. But some people thought it was very strange to see their king dancing. Why were so many people, including David, so thankful? They saw that when God had a plan, nothing could stop it. So, what does this have to do with me and you? In this series, we have learned all about our unstoppable God. We have seen over and over again in stories of the Bible that when God has a plan, nothing can stop it. No matter what, we can't mess up God's plan, and that is a reason to celebrate. We can celebrate and thank God for all that he has done, just like David did. 
Have you ever danced as a way to celebrate and thank God? In our worship songs, each week we dance and move our bodies like this. Dancing is already a part of our worship to God with Black Hawk Kids. We sing words to God like a prayer and we move our bodies, not for fun or exercise, but as a way to say thank you and give praise to God. Do you think you could try dancing this week like David did? Play a song, move your body, and tell God, thank you. Or say, I love you, or you are awesome, God. You are unstoppable. And just dance. Does God care if you're a great dancer? No, not at all. When our hearts are so full of thanks that we can't help but move our body and dance for God, God loves it all. Maybe your family could get together in your kitchen or living room, play a favorite worship song, and dance together. And hey, if dancing doesn't really feel like a thank you to God, you can also thank God with a song or a prayer or a picture. God loves it when we say thank you, no matter how we say it. When God has a plan, nothing can stop it. And this is a great reason to say thanks to God. Let's pray together. I'll say the words out loud, but you can listen and say them in your heart. Close your eyes, be still, and let's talk to God. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for the Bible and King David. Forgive us when we don't believe that nothing can stop you, our great God. Help our friends and family find many reasons to say thanks to you. Help me dance a little each day saying thanks to my unstoppable God. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's say amen together. Ready? Amen. It's Bible verse time. Stand up and get ready to do the motions. Hooray! We've been practicing a Bible verse all month long. Let's see if you've learned it. Say it with me and do the motions. Here we go. God has done great and wonderful things. 2 Samuel 7.23 Nice job. Let's say it one more time, but this time let's dance while we do it. Okay, here we go. God has done great and wonderful things. 2 Samuel 7.23 We put these words in our heads and in our hearts so that they are there when we need them. God has done so many great and wonderful things. God is great and wonderful and unstoppable. Our God is unstoppable. Say it with me. Our God is unstoppable. That was kind of quiet. Can you say that again a little bit louder? Our God is unstoppable. Okay, okay, but really convince me this time. Who is unstoppable? Our God is unstoppable. That's more like it. Let's worship our unstoppable God with one more song. Have a great week. Bye. Let's move and sing together. Get ready. You spoke one word.
Sometimes then my contacts dry up and then I'm like, I can't see the teleprompter. <laughs> Two pumps, okay. And. <laughs> when you are. <laughs> Who spent his days taking share, taking share of keep. God has done so many great and wonderful. <laughs> so if you can teach. It's so much fun to practice our Bible verse each week. I feel like I'm spinning everywhere. I, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I can see it like spraying into the light. Okay.